the Travers. Bellamy Road has broken alertly and has quickly angled well off the rail. He's going to try to carry the others a little farther out into the turn. And there goes Flower Alley, now who runs along in second, and Bellamy Road really wants to run today. Javier Castellano trying to settle him down. He steps out by two and is now angled over to the inside. Flower Alley runs in second. Roman Rulers between horses. The Blinkered Andromeda's hero is very close today. He's only three lengths from the lead and down toward the inside. He's running along in fourth. Reverberate well out into the track is fifth. Don't get mad is sixth and five lengths back to the trailer. Check off. Into the back stretch run. Bellamy Road. Solid first quarter. 23 and two. Loops on a two and a half length lead. Flower Rally runs along in second, and Jerry Bailey guides Roman Ruler just to the outside of Flower Rally. But Flower Rally's making an early move here with six furlongs to go. The half was 47 and two-fifths seconds, so it's Bellamy Road, and they are not giving him a free ride on that lead. Flower Rally's pressing him, so Bellamy Road lets it out a notch with five furlongs to go. The lead's now a length and three quarters. Flower Rally runs second by another five. Roman Ruler is third. He's now about seven lengths from Bellamy Road. Andromeda's hero don't get mad reverberate and check off there's a half mile to go here Bellamy Road rambles through three quarters of a mile in one ten and four Flaw Rally called out for run now and Roman Ruler is revving up and there's three furlongs to go in the Travers and it's still Bellamy Road who barrels to the top of the stretch with the lead by length Flaw Rally edging closer to him Roman Ruler is third don't forget, don't get mad. He's four, five lengths from the lead. The field turns for home, and it's Flower Alley. Flower Alley, who wrestles that lead away from Bellamy Road, who's battling out gamely, just a neck behind. It's Flower Alley in front. Bellamy Road is second by three. Roman Ruler is third. Don't get mad, it's fourth. Flower Alley is the winner of the 136 Traverse Stakes. A decisive victory over Bellamy Road and Roman Ruler, and don't get mad, the final time was 2.02 and 3.5 seconds. Tactically brilliant ride there by Johnny Velasquez on Flower Alley. He really never let Bellamy Road get too far away from him. The pace was very solid here, and this was a very solid winner of the Travers. As Tom Durkin said, he made his move much before most people thought he would with six furlongs to go but that just got him a little bit closer where he could make the big attack at bellamy road who ran a very strong race for his first out since may 7th well fortunately for velasquez and the winning trainer todd pletcher there getting his first travers win by the way flower alley is a horse that is a very tactical kind of horse he can show speed he can sit a little off the pace he can be pretty much wherever johnny velasquez wanted him to be it was a solid pace 47 and 2 but any slower than that and bellamy road would be in danger of going wire to wire so johnny wanted to go after him and put a little heat on him. John Velasquez, congratulations. Another win for you. A double. Jim Dandy to this race, huh? Thank you. Thank you very much. It's an awesome horse. Man, I have to say, thank my agent to be getting on this horse and teach him the right things. <laughs> now, Johnny, tell us what you were thinking on the back stretch when Bellamy Road had a clear lead on you. Well, you know, I let him go going to the first turn. I didn't want to be head and head with him, but once we got to the back side, I. I didn't let him go too easily, so I w wanted to put a little bit of pressure as long as my horse was doing it easy. So, give my horse his head, and he was doing it pretty good. So, he gave me a lot of confidence. Did you feel any pressure going into this race, being in this position of having to decide when to go after Bellamy Road? No, no. I actually was more concerned from the horse from behind. Uh, but once I didn't see anybody close to me on the backside, I said, well, he's the horse to beat, so let me go after him. All right, congratulations. Not only Todd Fletcher's first Travers win, but also the first for Johnny Velasquez. They get the double from the Jim Dandy forward to the Travers, the 136th running of the Travers. Goes to Flower Alley, two in a row, both graded right here at this track, Saratoga. He becomes the sixth horse to win both those races, Jim Dandy and the Travers. Top expert ride from John Velasquez. Flower Alley's your winner in the Travers Stakes. Let's go to Quint now with an explanation about Bellamy Road's performance. That's right. I'm with Nick Zito and Javier Castellano. Nick, uh, characterize that performance by your Colt. I thought it was unbelievable. Uh, he hasn't run in four months. Javi did a great job. I salute the winner. Obviously, you know, Flower Alley, but I got to salute Bellamy Road. I mean, four months coming off the bench and giving us this and uh, his future's bright, and uh, what a great horse I got. When you saw the fractions posted, did you think winning the race was, was within his scope? I did, and, you know, actually the winner ran, ran a tremendous race because, you know, Javi did his job. They went 10 and change. That's fast enough, and 
he basically knocked out the field and uh, Johnny went the right time and uh, we just come up a tar short, that's it. This is uh, the tail end of the race and it looks like Bellamy Road kind of digs in and comes back, Javier. Yes, he did. He run very good race. He not, he, he that kind of hard. He liked to fight it. He never give up, you know, and try to, he did the best, you know, in the top of the straight, he run beautiful race. Nick, uh, you've talked about setting, this race is a setup for the fall in the Breeders' Cup Classic. Uh, any indication on whether that would continue or not? I sure hope so. I mean, he's a wonderful horse, and uh, he, he gave us his all today, and uh, didn't he, have it? So, so we'll uh, we'll see what it is. We'll, we'll talk to the Steinbrenner family, and of course, Ed Sexton, the manager, and everybody, Hank and George and Jessica. And one day we got a great horse. We got to be proud. Thanks, Nick. Eight dollars on the nose up front. Bellamy Road, a good place price at four ten. Those are those who played Flower Alley over Bellamy Road, thirty three dollars. And Shane, so Fletch now is six in your road. You'd say almost as much about Bellamy Road, Randy, as you would Florelli, because so convincing was he, the way he ran, the way he stayed on, even dug back in on the stretch. And it really sets him up nicely for uh, prizes on down the road against older horses, maybe the Jockey Club Gold.